Hey guys, David here with DBR High Performance. We're a speed shop just south of Nashville. We are here at the Power Tour 2024 with HP Tuners. We've got an 85 C10 with an LS in it. We're gonna show you guys something that we've seen a lot this week, some torque converter settings. Let's get into it. All right guys, so what we've been seeing the most of this week is people coming in with a stutter going down the road. And most of what we found has been in the torque converter settings. They're actually feeling the torque converter slipping back and forth. So I'm gonna show you guys how to fix that. So if you go here, we've got VCM editor open, go to trans, go to torque converter. To start, you got maximum and minimum. This is how much it applies the clutch. So maximum, set it to 99, close that out, go into minimum. And this is the one you can play with. This is stock settings here. A lot of the aftermarket converters, they like if you set it at 75, so instead of it slipping the clutch, it pretty much applies the clutch really fast. Some converters, they like it if you set it at 90, some 98. This is something you can play with. This can really clean up the, the application of the torque converter clutch. The next is going into the apply release. These are the different speeds. Go into normal, and this is a factory torque converter lockup schedule for a Tahoe. If you go in and select the whole table, and add say four miles an hour, start there, and see what feels good in the truck. That's a great place to start, adding four. So you go add four, add four. Now in third gear, it's gonna apply at 36 versus the factory, which was 32. Fourth gear, 44. It's a great place to start. Making those small changes can really make the vehicle feel much, much better. So now that we've made our settings for our torque converter, we're gonna go in and we're gonna save. File, save as. And we're gonna save that file as TQ settings one. That's gonna be our first, that's gonna be our first try. It's always good to save every file you do. So if you don't like what you have, you can always go back. So at this point, everything's ready. Let's plug our MPVI3 into the vehicle and go from there. Now that we're plugged in and connected the vehicle, we're gonna go ahead and write that file. All right, guys, we just showed you how to go in and change your converter lockup settings. Uh, this can fix a lot of issues with drivability. This week, especially, we've seen a lot of people because of the type of driving we're doing, when the converter would lock up, it would shutter. This has fixed all of the vehicles, and it's very easy to do. As you guys can see in VCM Editor, it's two tables that you change, minimum, maximum torque converter. Um, play with those, you'll have really good results. Once again, guys, David with DBR High Performance, located just south of Nashville. We specialize in late model Hemi, LS platform, and Coyote platforms. If you guys are interested in working with us, check us out at dbrhighperformance.com, and we'd like to hear from you soon.